Good morning, folks. We've got some key things to hit today. Four excellent articles, actually, including a brand new concept. We'll also take a quick look at space weather, and that is where we will begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Once again, we lack big flares or eruptions heading in Earth's direction, but there are several new sunspots. All models show that solar wind from the now departing coronal hole will arrive today so that geomagnetic amplification we've been discussing should be arriving later tonight. Another one coming in there behind it. Lastly, we'll take a quick look here at the new sunspots incoming from the left side. That is the top watch as we head towards the weekend. First up in the articles today is a good one on precipitation being modulated by solar activity. We've seen dozens of papers on the topic over the years, including three just last month. It's had its own full section in our textbook and is one of the most robust vectors of understanding solar forcing of the atmosphere, especially with the monsoons. Up next, we got an incredible new field of science. There are over a thousand papers on the pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals in the atmosphere, but none on volcanoes, until now. What makes this even more incredible is that it was a submarine eruption, which means that the circuit connections pass through both land and sea. The only way to explain this finding is that the global electric circuit is in fact an all-telling feature in the atmosphere that responds to the preparation processes for both earthquakes and major volcanic eruptions. Excellent work up next showing that nocturnal bird migration patterns are disrupted by space weather. This not only confirms what we've seen reported before and offers a window into why these solar storms are much more than just a technological risk, but it also reminds us that with Earth's weakening magnetic poles and the magnetic pole shift, both that process and space weather events during the shift are even more of a problem for the animal kingdom. Last but not least, this article is not linked in the list today because it is paywalled by the Wall Street Journal, but the frequency of major media outlets covering the risk of solar storms continues to rise. We are, in fact, just one big blast from the sun away from heading right back to the pre-industrial times, and that risk grows greater as the magnetic shift continues. It is only a matter of time. The next Observer event will be at Observer Ranch, November 18th. Come see the EMP-proof disaster vehicle, the Big Burb, and learn why it's our best friend during the coming magnetic pole shift. Tickets found at the link below, and we'd love to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.